Hello guys, this is Sorty Speed and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now you're here because you click on my thumbnail and you want to know the best settings for a 1660 Super S graphics card playing this game the first ascended. Uh, or if you have a graphics card closer to the tier of my 1660 Super S then you've come to the right place. Let's go dive right in. Settings, go to options and graphics, you choose customs. Ray tracing is off. Additional options, turn that off. V-Sync, I'm turning that on. Enable boost for the NVIDIA Reflex low latency. Enable boost. And then maximum frame rate is 60. Visibility, medium. Anti-aliasing, medium. Post-processing, medium. Shadows, low. Global illumination, I don't think that's really important for me. You know, the lighting. Reflections, low. Textures, high. Effect medium vegetation put that at low shader quality should be high object medium physics is high and motion blur I turn that off it's for the gameplay uh, to me you know just the quality of life should play this game you see I'm running at uh, 59 to 60 FPS right now that's the render latency 14 MS I turned all these off unless you're playing with a friend maybe you can turn it on it depends on you you know social show creator icon turn it off uh, hide the nicknames of the players turn that on if you have players playing with you in, in a location turn that on because that's gonna clutter the look uh, as, you, as you play the game text and voice chat permissions turn that off hide the chat automatically this is really important because if you don't hide that let me show you it's gonna show up there you know see that that's just gonna show up there and it's gonna clutter your ui so to me i'm turning that off unless you know maybe you're doing some trade or you're talking with people then you can turn it on you can yeah you can turn that off the hide chat automatically turn that off uh chat window transparency very low very small all of these here i turn those off I don't really want it weapon damage skill damage i don't need it show status effect i don't like it too you know for the aim control i use hold this is to your preference now spin sprint control i use hold grappling hook correction turn that off 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 Turning all these off, it gives me more like an immersive feel of playing the game and I have more control, you know, using the hooks and everything. For audio, that's up to you, your preference, really. Um, for the keyboard and the mouse, my sensi sensitivity is at 12, aim sensitivity is 10. What I change here is the position or the, the, the key for what is that again for sub attack i wanted it in my for my mouse depending on what kind of mouse you're using if you're using a gaming mouse then you most probably you have a number four number five buttons i put that on the sub attack number five so basically that's how it looks for me what i don't really like here is that floating at the center of the screen you see that 31 to 244 showing the number of bullets you have I don't like it in that bar I don't like it really well but that's all when it would I think I missed something uh, the field of view that's important field of view where is it in this big there there you go 120 is too much for me 100 a little it's at 90 default you can see here 90 is the default that's too close for me again this is this will depend on your preference but to me the best field of view is 110 i'll show you 120 this is 120 it's too yeah it's too wide for me it doesn't work well with me really so i go with 110 i'm going to show you 110 these are all my settings here sharpness i didn't touch that i'm already good with the sharpness Use the dedicated camera when entering Albion. I turned that on. So you can see I'm at 60 FPS and I'm also using OBS. That's getting some of the juice from my graphics card. 
But if you high, if you have a higher graphics card, go ahead, uh, indulge yourself with the high settings. So let's start a mission here. What you can also do is by pressing U, you can choose to toggle between your mission info. If you're not currently in a mission, it will, it will the, yeah the, the mission info it will definitely mess with your ui i'll show that to you later but right now it just shows defeat all targets because that's the mission we're in up enemy see this to me looks really good i can move really well uh be it um zoomed in or out you know zooming in like that or zoomed out like that I'm, I'm happy with it you know and it improved my game a lot so if you're here maybe if you have a higher graphics graphics card i think the settings can also help for you you know declutter the ui also the skills i hope they did, they change that they update that to make it smaller you know i don't want a lot of things uh, a lot of UI interfering with my view, really. But I'm gonna show you a bonus tip. And that's really great. If you prefer it, but to me, it looks really great. It really helps with immersion in a game. I'm gonna show that to you at the end of this video. Let me just finish this mission. So, there you go. That's helping a lot. Yep. Maybe, uh, yep. and maybe jump around like that yep see it works really well for me and you can use your sniper rifle in here mm-hmm see that and go above oh you're following me huh and he is gone now, this is what I mean. When you keep the press U, that's the default button. If you keep the change to mission info, it will on the left side there. It will clutter your UI. Now, so that's why I'm changing changing it to change to mission info, uh, to, rather to tracking target. See, looks really well. Now, this is the bonus part because. You stayed. You can actually click here. Hide battle you are. And it will help really for you to immerse in the game. But the drawback is can't see anything. So get this mission. Press E. It will start the mission without showing anything from the UI. Hold E. See? Just that. I hope they can also uh, change the size of the text. You know, the subtitles. And then uh, push it down uh, a little lower. That would look great. See? This is immersive. So, if this video helped you, I hope you can give me a thumbs up. You can give me a like. Or you can subscribe. Comment down below if there are any tips you think it would help. For other uh, new gamers. For this new game, it has definitely has potential starting to like it so i want to hear from you guys thank you so much for watching and i might put another video about this game i'm still trying to learn it but i'm gonna put out another video a, a sort of a newbie guide for this game because i really like it i'm liking it so far i, I gave it a i'm giving it a 7 out of 10 earlier but i think i'm gonna give it a an eight right now because of the settings change the settings that i did okay so far the reviews from steam it's at mixed review but of course it's the early stages of the game you know they're not really happy with it uh i understand but you know i'll give it some time and see what's before i put in a review Oh, let's give it a chance. We're of a unit. Wait a 
this a skill? And there you go. Now, if you want to see the results of your mission successful, there it is. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Again, guys, this is Sardis B. Until my next vlog, bye bye.